here we go. Welcome back, Revolt family, for another wonderful workout of the day. Uh, it is the weekend. You want to make sure you still get some fitness in, though, before you go eat some food and drink some beer. Uh, as always, we are back open for business, guys. Check us out at revoltfitness.net. Um, if you're interested in maybe joining our family, go ahead and send us your information and we will get in touch with you guys. We do have 24-7 access, so you can also take advantage of that. Uh, today's workout, lactate, AMRAP, 20 minutes, meaning you're going to work through this for 20 minutes and try to get as many rounds and reps as you possibly can. You're going to go ahead and do 10 air squats, 30 double unders or single unders. And if you happen to not have a rope, you can simply do line hops. And then you're gonna go ahead and do a 200 meter run. Then you're gonna go ahead and do 20 air squats, 30 dubs, 200 meter run, 30 air squats, 30 dubs, 200 meter run, 40 air squats, 30 dubs, 200 meter run, 50 air squats, and so on and so forth. So every time you finish a round, that next round, you're simply adding 10 squats to the workout. Your double unders, single unders, line hops, those stay the same, your run, distance also stays the same. The only thing that is changing, the ascending portion of it, is simply your air squats. So you're always gonna be doing 10 air squats more. And again, you're gonna keep working for as long as you possibly can within those 20 minutes. Try and get as many rounds and reps as you possibly can. The warm up for this, you always wanna make sure you get a good warm up, especially when we're doing a lot of running guys, uh, a lot of squats. Want to make sure the lower body is ready to rock and roll. So today's workout, we're going to start with a high knee karaoke. And Coach Kat, she's going to just bring that knee up nice and high. She's got some really nice long legs. That's definitely different than me, so it looks a little bit different for the rest of us. So you're just going to bring it across just like she did. Once you get to one side, you can go back the other. And maybe if you want to do it for like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, something like that, or a, sp a specific distance, that's what you want to do. Once you do that, you're going to do over the hurdle, kind of the same concept, except you're going in reverse. So that leg is coming from the outside to the inside, whereas the karaoke, the leg is going from the inside to the outside. Once you do that for maybe 30 seconds, now you're going to go ahead and do knee to chest. Grab that knee, pull it to your chest as long as close as you can. Hold it for a split second and then bring it back down. Once you do that, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is a cradle stretch. She's going to grab that ankle, pull it up towards her hip, and then switch to the other side. Then once you do that, next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is a whack walking Samson. The walking Samson, you're gonna take a nice deep lunge, interlock the fingers, press up and back at the shoulders. Elbows should stay locked out, just like Coach Cat has. Once you do that, now you're gonna do a lunge and twist or a rush and twist, some people call it. Take a nice deep lunge, interlock the fingers, press them out, and then twist at your core in each direction. Once you do the lunge and twist, now we're gonna go ahead and do toe touches or calf soups. You're gonna have that leg out from the side and then go ahead and just kind of reach out from that position. Once you do that, next thing we're gonna do is high knees. You're just gonna bring those knees above parallel past them to your hip. You can do this in place, you can do it back and forth, do it for 30 seconds, anything like that. Once we do that, next thing we're gonna do is butt kickers. I'm just bringing that heel as close to my butt as I possibly can. Once we do that for 30 seconds, now we're gonna do straight leg hops. So Coach Cat is just gonna go ahead and kind of keep her leg or almost locked out. You want a, a slightly soft knee where you're just kind of driving out uh, at the feet. Once you do your straight leg hops, you're gonna go ahead and do a side shuffle. So she's gonna get back down on her hips, and maybe even a little bit lower, have a slightly wider stance, and then you're just gonna kind of shuffle back and forth. Uh, once we do our side shuffle, we're gonna do a toe out walk. So you're gonna point your toes out as best as you can, bring your heels together, and just walk by pushing your heels forward, if you will. Then you're gonna do the reverse. You're gonna do a toe in walk. So now I'm pushing my heels out and walking forward like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and do a heel walk. She's gonna be back up on her heels and just walk it again. All of this is to get our ankles ready, our hips ready, our knees ready. This is definitely a great warm up anytime you're gonna be running. Now we're gonna go ahead and do a toe walk. So you're gonna be up on your toes, just kind of walk across. And again, you can walk across 30 seconds, either one is fine. Then we're gonna go ahead and do an outside foot walk. So you're gonna be on the outside of your shoe. And the next thing we're gonna do is an inside. So I'm gonna be on the inside of my shoes. This is always funny to watch. 
<laughs> and then once you do that next thing we're going to do it this is the last piece is fast feet so we're just going to go ahead and really kind of just drive those feet into the ground as we move back and forth that is your warm-up again if you want to throw in a couple of other things to get ready for it uh, practice your double unders if you have double unders and you're someone that maybe does single, single, and then you start your doubles, or you do any amount of singles, and then start your doubles, I'm gonna challenge you. Practice simply starting straight into a double under. All right, don't waste single unders, don't waste time. Jump straight into the double under, so practice that. Straight into the double under, maybe hit two or three, get your rhythm, and then stop, and do that all over again, so that you can get in the habit of, when you're doing double unders, you start, your very first jump is already a double under. That's gonna get you better results, guys. So again, lactate, AMRAP 20 minutes, 10 air squats, 30 dubs, 200 meter run. Every time you come back through and start a new round, you're gonna add 10 reps to those air squats. Show us how you did on Wattify, post your results, take a picture, put it on Facebook, Instagram, guys. Tag us on it, Revolt Fitness. Again, check us out at revoltfitness.net. Have a fun time with this one, and we will see you tomorrow.